Hey, fantastic listeners. Today, we're diving into the book of Revelation to unravel the incredible significance of the number four. We're talking about elements, cardinal points, seasons, and the historical heavyweights like Babylon, Persia, Greece, and Rome. Stick around because understanding these foundations is like unlocking the secrets of the four horsemen. Ready for a mind-blowing journey? Let's roll! The world of number four, all right, buckle up. The number four isn't just a digit, it's a powerhouse of meaning in the book of Revelation. It's like the key to a secret code, representing the very fabric of our world, elements, cardinal points, seasons, and the historical big shots. Imagine it as the foundation upon which the four horsemen ride, bringing with them a cascade of symbolic events. The Elemental Symphony. Picture this, fire, air, earth, and water. These aren't just elements, they're the building blocks of our existence. The number four weaves them together like a symphony, creating a harmony that resonates throughout the book of Revelation. It's like the universe itself is dancing to the rhythm of four. Navigating the cardinal points. Now, let's talk cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. It's not just about directions, it's about the vastness of our world. The number four sets the compass for the divine drama unfolding in Revelation. Think of it as the GPS guiding us through the cosmic tale of the four horsemen. Now just very quick if it's your first time here on my channel. I would appreciate if you would like the video. So that you can help me to continue spreading Christian messages. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos that are uploaded every day. All right, let's keep rolling. Seasons of Change The beauty of seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. The number four paints a vivid picture of the cyclical nature of time. Each season brings its own flavor, just like the four horsemen bring their unique essence to the apocalyptic narrative. It's like a literary masterpiece unfolding with the turning of the seasons. Historical Powerhouses Now, let's shift gears to historical heavyweights, Babylon, Persia, Greece, and Rome. These aren't just names, they're epics that shaped our world. The number four acts as a bridge connecting these powerful chapters, reminding us that history isn't a linear tale but a series of interconnected narratives. The Earthly Paradise and Divine Providence Ever heard of the Earthly Paradise or the Garden of Eden? Well, surprise, it's surrounded by four rivers. The number four extends its reach even to the divine, creating a symbolic connection between the earthly and the heavenly. It's like a divine geometry lesson, where the square and the cube become the building blocks of cosmic relationships. Cherubim, wheels, faces, and wings Let's talk about divine imagery, cherubim with four faces, wheels with four sides, and wings. It's not just mystical mumbo-jumbo, it's a representation of divine providence. The number four becomes a visual masterpiece, forming the square and the cube that lay the foundation for the cosmic order. Eastern philosophers knew it, for it is the figure of the universe. The four horsemen enter the stage, all right, now that we've laid the groundwork, let's talk horsemen. In Revelation, these guys make a grand entrance, each corresponding to a seal opened by the Lamb. Picture this, a cosmic drama directed by Christ, who's always in control. These aren't just writers, they're envoys of divine judgment, bringing warnings to rebellious souls. The White Horse and the Antichrist enter the first horseman, the White Horse. Traditionally a symbol of victory, it's ridden by a figure with a bow and a crown. This isn't your average conqueror, it's the Antichrist, the one who'll rock the world with charisma and power. But hold on, Jesus is on a white horse too, talk about a cosmic showdown. The red horse and the stirring of conflict, next up, the red horse. This fiery fellow takes peace for a joyride, wielding a mighty sword. It's like the cosmic DJ just dropped the beat of conflict. Wars, 
chaos and the removal of peace. It's the wild ride initiated by the second horseman. The Black Horse and the Dance of Scarcity Cue the Black Horse, Scarcity and Famine take the stage. This isn't your regular famine, it's a carefully choreographed dance of scarcity. The rider holds a scale, measuring out basic foods like wheat and barley. But here's the twist, oil and wine get a pass. It's a stark divide between the haves and the have-nots, a play orchestrated by the third horseman. The Pale Horse and the Dominion of Death, last but not least, the Pale Horse. This one's ridden by Death, accompanied by Hades. Power is granted to unleash Death through various means, sword, famine, pestilence, and even wild beasts. It's like a symphony of mortality, the grand finale orchestrated by the Fourth Horseman. The parallel with Matthew 24, pause for a moment and remember Matthew 24. Jesus, during his time on earth, foretells the events of the Great Tribulation. It's like a cosmic echo, the seals and revelation aligning with the apocalyptic events described by Jesus himself. It's a vivid parallel, showing that these warnings are deeply rooted in the fabric of divine prophecy. God's justice and wrath. Now, let's address a question that often lingers, why would a loving God allow such judgments? Here's the deal. God's love is undeniable, but so is his justice, holiness, and righteous wrath. Revelation doesn't shy away from portraying God's multifaceted nature. It's a reminder that his love isn't void of justice. The first seal unveiled, picture this, the first seal cracks open, and bam! A majestic white horse gallops onto the cosmic stage. It's like the curtains lifting on a celestial performance and the main character, the Antichrist. Now, he's not your run-of-the-mill leader, he's charismatic, powerful, and he's got this whole illusion of peace thing going on. The white horse's deceptive charm. Now, let's talk about this white horse. Traditionally, it's a symbol of victory, think triumphant parades and conquering heroes. Our Antichrist rides it like a cosmic rock star, flaunting a bow and a crown, it's not just any victory, it's a temporary triumph, like a teaser for what's to come in this cosmic saga. The Antichrist, Charisma and Illusion, enter the Antichrist, the lead character of our cosmic drama. He's not your average Joe, he's got charisma for days and a charm that lures people into his web. Initially, he brings this illusion of peace, like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. But beware, it's a deceptive calm before the storm. A cosmic showdown, white horse versus white horse. Hold on, though, there's a twist. In the cosmic finale of Revelation, guess who else rides a white horse? None other than Jesus himself. It's like a celestial showdown, a clash between the Antichrist's illusionary peace and the true victory that Jesus brings. Now that's a plot twist worth waiting for. Matthew 24 Echoes Pause for a cosmic echo, remember Matthew 24? Jesus, during his time on Earth, drops hints about these cosmic events. It's like a sneak peek into the divine screenplay. The first seal aligns with Jesus' warning, setting the stage for the Great Tribulation. God's warnings in Technicolor. Now, let's address the big question, why does God allow these cosmic theatrics? It's like a technicolor warning sign. Yes, God is all about love, but he's also packing justice, holiness, and a righteous wrath punch. Revelation doesn't sugarcoat it, it's a divine spectacle that showcases the multifaceted nature of God. The Antichrist's grand entrance, back to our main character, the Antichrist. His grand entrance on the white horse is just the beginning. He's got a bow symbolizing military might, and a crown, hinting at dominion over nations. It's like a political rock star meets a conquering hero, all rolled into one. Daniel's Prophecy, Unveiling the Antichrist's Origins Now, let's rewind to Daniel's prophecy in Chapter 7. Picture this, ten horns representing ten nations, and out comes the Antichrist, uprooting three of them. It's not just a political move, 
It's a power play that sets the stage for the Antichrist's cosmic reign. 1 John 2 verse 8, Little Children, Big Revelations, Fast forward to 1 John 2 verse 8, Little Children, It's the Last Time. John spills the tea about the Antichrist's impending debut. It's like insider info for the cosmic enthusiasts, letting us know that the real show is about to begin. Antichrists everywhere, hold on, there's a cosmic twist. It's not just one Antichrist, it's like a cosmic franchise. John spills more tea, revealing that many Antichrists are popping up. It's a celestial plot thickener, adding layers to the cosmic drama. Antichrist's World Tour, The Great Tribulation, now, imagine the Antichrist going on a world tour, spreading his charismatic illusion. It's like a rock concert of deception, with the world as his stage. The Great Tribulation kicks off, and it's not just any concert, it's a cosmic clash of ideologies. Antichrist's Charm Offensive The Antichrist's Charm Offensive is in full swing. He's not just about military might, he's a smooth talker, convincing the masses with his charismatic rhetoric. It's like a political rally meets a TED talk, and the world falls for a hook, line, and sinker. Revelation 19, the true white horse appears, hold your horses, Revelation 19 hits the cosmic stage. The true white horse makes its entrance, carrying none other than Jesus. It's like a cosmic mic drop moment, where the true conqueror emerges, stealing the spotlight from the Antichrist. Conclusion, a cosmic roller coaster, and there you have it, cosmic enthusiasts. The first seal, a grand opening to a cosmic roller coaster. The Antichrist on a white horse, the illusion of peace, and the cosmic showdown with Jesus on a white horse. It's a plot twist packed journey, and we've only scratched the surface. So, stay tuned for more cosmic revelations and buckle up for the ride of a celestial lifetime. The second seal unleashed, imagine this, the second seal cracks open, and bam. Enter the stage, a fiery red horse. It's not just any horse, it's a cosmic symbol, a harbinger of things to come. Get ready to witness the Red Horse Chronicles, a tale of conflict, chaos, and the unraveling of peace. Red Horse Symbolism, the cosmic traffic light turns red, so, what's the deal with this red horse? Well, it's like the cosmic traffic light just turned red. Red, in this cosmic language, screams conflict. It's not a gentle nudge, but a bold announcement. Conflict is here, and peace is about to hit the road. Mighty sword and the symphony of warfare. Picture the horseman on this fiery red steed, wielding a mighty sword. It's not for show, it's a foreshadowing of cosmic proportions. The sword isn't just a prop. It's a symphony conductor's baton, orchestrating widespread wars and the chaotic consequences of human rivalry. It's like a cosmic drum roll building up to the clash of titans. The pursuit of peace, an elusive dream, hold onto your hats, the pursuit of peace becomes an elusive dream. The red horse doesn't just tiptoe around, it gallops, leaving behind a trail of shattered dreams. It's like trying to catch a feather in a storm, peace slips away and global chaos takes center stage. Conflict unleashed, the horseman's grand entrance. Now, let's talk about the grand entrance of our fiery equestrian friend. The red horseman doesn't do subtle, it's all about a grand entrance. The cosmic stage is set, the audience is on the edge of their seats, and conflict takes the spotlight. It's like the opening act of the greatest show in the universe. Wars on the horizon, the cosmic DJ drops the beat, as the red horse gallops across the cosmic stage, wars loom on the horizon. It's not your everyday skirmish, it's a symphony of conflict, orchestrated by the mighty sword. The cosmic DJ drops the beat, and the world dances to the rhythm of warfare. It's a chaotic ballet that humanity didn't sign up for. Human rivalry, the Pandora's box of chaos, Enter the dark side of human nature, rivalry. It's like opening Pandora's box of chaos. The Red Horseman isn't just a spectator, he's in the ring, fueling the flames of discord. 
human rivalry becomes the fuel for the cosmic bonfire, and the consequences are devastating. The Butterfly Effect, Global Chaos Ripples, ever heard of the butterfly effect? Well, in this cosmic drama, the flap of the red horse's fiery mane sets off global chaos ripples. It's not contained chaos, it's a ripple effect that engulfs nations. What starts as a skirmish turns into a cosmic hurricane, and the aftermath is felt far and wide. The removal of peace, a cosmic vacuum, hold your cosmic hats, the red horseman isn't just a symbol, he's a peace vacuum. Peace gets yanked from the cosmic stage, leaving behind an unsettling void. It's like the quiet before the storm, only this storm is a cosmic tempest of conflict and chaos. Revelation's cosmic warning bells, pause for a cosmic reflection, Revelation isn't just a story, it's a warning. The red horse isn't here for a joyride, it's a celestial alarm bell, signaling that things are about to get wild. It's a call to attention, urging humanity to pay heed to the cosmic script unfolding. Prophetic echoes across time, travel back in time and catch the prophetic echoes. The red horse's gallop resonates with ancient prophecies, echoing across the ages. It's like a timeless reminder that the cosmic drama isn't a one-time event but a recurring theme in the grand narrative of existence. Conclusion, the red horse chronicles unfold, and there you have it, cosmic enthusiasts. The second seal, the red horse chronicles. Conflict, chaos, the mighty sword, and the removal of peace. It's a cosmic blockbuster, and we've just scratched the surface. Buckle up for more celestial revelations, because the saga is far from over. Stay tuned for the unraveling of the cosmic tapestry. The third seal unveiled, picture this, the third seal pops open, and voila. Enter the scene, a sleek black horse. But this isn't a joyride, it's a symbol, a cosmic signpost pointing straight at scarcity and famine. Get ready for the Black Horse Chronicles, a tale where basic foods become the VIPs, and rationing becomes the name of the game. Black Horse Symbolism, a cosmic grocery run, so, what's the deal with this Black Horse? It's like a cosmic grocery run, but not the fun kind. This horse is the harbinger of scarcity and famine. It's not just any horse, it's a four-legged messenger announcing that the kitchen is about to run out of supplies. The scale of fate, weighing in on scarcity, now, check out the rider holding the scale. It's now for measuring ingredients for a cosmic recipe, it's the scale of fate. Imagine it like the cosmic Fitbit, but instead of counting steps, it's weighing in on scarcity. The scale becomes the ultimate judge deciding who gets what in this celestial supermarket sweep. Food rationing, cosmic VIP pass for basic foods, hold on to your space helmets, basic foods become the cosmic VIPs. It's not a buffet, it's a rationing party, and everyone's invited. The black horseman doesn't just gallop, he's leading a food revolution. Rice, bread, and veggies, they all get the VIP treatment, and the menu is anything but lavish. Heavenly Voice Exclusive Oil and Wine Edition. Now, let's talk exclusivity. The Heavenly Voice drops a bomb, oil and wine takes center stage. It's not your average cooking show, it's a cosmic master chef challenge. Oil and wine become the A-list celebrities, while the rest of the pantry is left in the cosmic green room. Talk about a culinary divide, Opulence and Suffering, the Cosmic Class Divide, here's the cosmic plot twist, Opulence and Suffering share the stage. The Black Horseman isn't just a messenger of scarcity, he's a cosmic class coordinator. On one side, you've got the red carpet of oil and wine, on the other, the harsh reality of food shortages. It's like a celestial drama of haves and have-nots. The Great Pantry Shuffle, Basic Foods take center stage. Get ready for the Great Pantry Shuffle. Basic foods step into the limelight, and it's not a supporting role. Rice becomes the leading actor, bread the supporting character, and veggies the scene stealer. It's a culinary performance of scarcity, where every bite is a precious commodity. 
the weight of the scale, cosmic decision time, feel the weight of the scale, it's cosmic decision time. The scale becomes the ultimate judge, determining who gets the cosmic care package and who's left hungry. It's not just about food, it's a cosmic test of balance, and the scale doesn't tip in everyone's favor. Food for thought, rationing in the cosmic buffet, pause for some cosmic reflection. Rationing in the cosmic buffet isn't just a plot twist, it's a lesson. The black horseman isn't here to ruin the party, he's here to drop some wisdom. It's a reminder that resources aren't infinite, and a little cosmic rationing can teach us a thing or two about gratitude. Conclusion, shadows of scarcity unveiled, and there you have it, interstellar friends. The third seal, the Black Horse Chronicles. Scarcity, famine, the cosmic grocery run, and the scale of fate. It's a roller coaster of celestial proportions, and we're just getting started. Stay tuned for more cosmic revelations, because the saga continues. Until next time, keep riding the cosmic waves. The cosmic unveiling, picture this, the fourth seal is cracked open, and voila. A pale horse, rocking a yellowish hue, struts onto the celestial stage. Who's in the saddle? None other than Death, accompanied by Hades. It's like a cosmic cowboy showdown, but this ain't your ordinary rodeo. We're talking about the Pale Horse Chronicles, where Death takes center stage and the Earth gets a taste of its dominion. Death takes the reins, unleashing the dominion. Death isn't here for a joyride, it's taking the reins, riding that pale horse like a cosmic conqueror. This horseman means business, holding dominion over a quarter of the Earth. It's not a friendly neighborhood takeover, it's death spreading its influence far and wide. But how does death go about its cosmic mission? For horsemen showdown, swords, famine, pestilence, and wild beasts, get ready for the four horsemen showdown. Death isn't just into one-trick ponies, it's got a squad, swords, famine, pestilence, and even wild beasts. It's like a cosmic Avengers team, but with a darker agenda. Death isn't picky, it's unleashing mortality through every means possible, making sure its dominion is felt. Cosmic mortality unleashed, culmination of judgments, now, here's where the plot thickens. The Pale Horse Chronicles aren't your typical bedtime story. This horseman isn't just galloping for a casual stroll, it's the grand finale, the culmination of preceding judgments. Imagine it like the climax of an interstellar blockbuster, where death takes the spotlight and mortality hits an unprecedented high. Death's multifaceted arsenal, sword-wielding cosmic enforcer, let's talk weaponry. Death isn't wielding a feather duster, it's got a sword, and it's not afraid to use it. This ain't your typical medieval battlefield, it's a cosmic showdown, and death is the enforcer. Swords clash, and mortality becomes the casualty. Famine, the cosmic hunger games, enter famine, the hungry player in this cosmic hunger games. Death isn't just about physical demise, it's playing with hunger, scarcity, and the desperate quest for sustenance. It's a Hunger Games arena on a celestial scale, and Death is the ultimate game master. Pestilence, Cosmic Plague Unleashed. Next up, we've got Pestilence. Think of it as the Cosmic Pandemic, but with a deathly twist. It's not just about viruses and bacteria, it's Death's way of playing doctor on a universal level. The Pale Horse isn't delivering prescriptions, it's delivering a Cosmic Pandemic prescription to the Earth. Wild beasts, when nature turns cosmic predator, hold onto your space helmets because here comes the wild card, wild beasts. It's not your typical animal planet scenario, it's when nature turns into a cosmic predator. Death's dominion isn't just about the human race, it's a universal affair, and even the wild beasts are part of the deadly ensemble. Unprecedented mortality, the cosmic cliffhanger, as Death's squad takes center stage we're left with an unprecedented mortality rate. It's the cosmic cliffhanger, where death's dominion reaches its peak, and the universe holds its breath. This ain't your typical drama, it's the Pale Horse Chronicles, 
and we're just scratching the surface. Conclusion, Pale Horse Chronicles a cosmic roller coaster, and there you have it, cosmic comrades. The Pale Horse Chronicles, a cosmic roller coaster where death rides high, and the dominion unfolds. We've witnessed swords clashing, famine playing its hunger games, pestilence unleashing its cosmic plague, and wild beasts joining the deadly party. Stay tuned for more cosmic revelations, because the saga continues. Until next time, keep riding the cosmic waves. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.